hours later, and this is still a very active firefight here in South Minneapolis. You can see one of the two ladder trucks that are still up right now fighting that blaze from the rooftop. And if we can take this Chopper 5 video from earlier today, you can see the damage from the roof of the roof of that building. Uh, just massive flames also that you can see that were coming out from the building here. Now if we can show you the video, what the flames looked like here most of the morning. This video you're seeing now, it's from around five o'clock this morning, just minutes after fire crews showed up here. They were those flames burning bright and shooting out of the building with thick smoke billowing and really blanketing much of this surrounding area here. Minneapolis Fire says normally crews would enter the building by now to search for any victims who may have been inside at the time that this fire started. But officials say with that back building collapsing or that back wall collapsing, rather, those search efforts are more dangerous and difficult now. And they say that they don't know now when that search is going to be able to happen. Right now, fire crews say this is still an active investigation. And right now, what caused all of this is still unknown. Listen. There could be a possibility. We, we, we do not know. Um, you know, it's, it's, the weather is getting a little colder. Um, and, you know, um, some of our uh, homeless population, they're, they're going to seek warm. And anytime, you know, there's kind of a building where you can get shelter, um, you know, that, that has happened in the past. Okay, now this building, it's been sitting empty since 2020, and in turn, it's been a consistent area for crime and safety concerns. The building has been on the books to be demolished by next spring, but fire crews say that job will likely be expedited now because of this fire. Now, Paul Brett, this is going to be an all day affair here in South Minneapolis. Fire crews say they're going to be here continuing to put out any active flames that pop up, but also monitoring for any hot spots. Going to be uh, quite the day. They said they could even be here into the weekend, depending on how uh, cooperative this fire is. Brett Paul. Okay, big investigation. Bailey Hurley, thank you. Maybe you 